The Delhi counter has become a firm favourite among many, but a new report today paints a bleak picture of the impact that processed and junk food is having on our health. The Climate and Health Alliance describing it as a slow-motion disaster unfolding before our eyes. It's estimated that around half of a family's weekly shopping trolley is made up of ultra-processed foods, things like pre-prepared frozen meals, sugary drinks and sweet and savoury snacks. So much easier just to get like it's a really cheap, you know, quick meal five minutes in on my way to work. I, mean, I make my own spaghetti bolognese and stuff like that with fresh fruit, but I'm not sure everybody does. I think people just go for the handiest option now yeah. and the cheapest. I wouldn't have fed it to my children and it was never fed to me yeah. all the time. Treat now and again. Easy, cheap. Uh, we eat too much of it, but I'm going to get some now anyway. <laughs> what are you going to get? Uh, Big Mac. <laughs> the Alliance warns that the current food system is fueling premature death due to diet-related chronic illnesses like cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes and obesity. We need to remove all junk food advertising from public-owned assets like public transport and public buildings. We need to use our planning laws to remove junk food outlets or fast food outlets from the vicinity of schools. We need to tackle the supermarkets where the supermarkets have a huge amount of marketing opportunities at the end of aisles or at their checkouts or buy one, get one free offers for ultra-processed foods. That needs to go. The Alliance also calls for a shift towards a plant-based diet and says that the farming industry has a role to play. It also wants to see a special cabinet subcommittee to oversee what it calls a food revolution. Paul Quinn, Virgin Media News.